Hey Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. It's always a pleasure to be back in the presence of you guys on each and every day. I come on, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in, fam. I appreciate you all. And to my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so happy to have you, okay? All right, we're just going to go with the flow. See what Spirit has for you. We're going to get some messages of guidance. And let's just see what Spirit wants to talk about, all right? So I've already meditated over the energies. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, Holy Spirit. Messages of clarity and truth on behalf of the collective today. Anything that could be a catalyst for forward movement on the spiritual path and journey. What do you need them to know? Anything for the collective in Jesus' name. All right, collective, I may say he, she, male, female, divine, feminine, divine, masculine. Take it where it resonates. Energies are fluid and interchangeable. If you resonate with their message, all is well. If you do not, please do not make the story fit. It's not your story. Check out my other readings that may be on the channel. All right, you may resonate with some of those messages. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what Spirit has. Holy Spirit, messages of clarity and truth for the collective. What do you need them to know? King of Pentacles. All right, King of Pentacles, someone who's very established, someone who may be wealthy, a uh, committal person, also a husband, a boss, someone who has their finances in order, somebody who is very stable as well and secure. On the bottom of the deck, you have the hangman in reverse. So this person is not stuck about the things that they're going through in life. They are very balanced and enlightened. Let's see what else. All right, so you have the the Eight of Swords, and you have the Two of Swords. Let me put this up so you guys can see it. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords. So this King of Pentacles, take it where it resonates, you guys. This may be you collective coming up as the masculine energy, but it could be a feminine. Feminines also come up as king sometimes, depending on if they are pulling very strongly, okay? So this King of Pentacles, he has a commitment of some sort. He's been in his head about, um, and it may have something to do with his heart. His heartstrings may be pulled a little bit, may be a little confined in his mind about what's going on. There is a decision that needs to be made. Something won't come to an end or something is being delayed right now. There is a delay in transformation pertaining to this decision, okay? Let's see. What else? Justice. All right, something isn't being balanced out right now. Something is unfair. Something is not resolved. There may be an issue with you and your significant other collective. Take it where it resonates. There is a queen of swords in the midst. This person is unhealed. This person has been pondering and thinking about something that needs to grow. There is a king of cups around as well that this person has been communicating with, swiftly communicating with. Possibly messaging, having small conversation about a path, a lover. When a lover is, when the lover's card is into play, it could mean a choice between two lovers or, an, or a divine path on which a person should go. So I feel like this King of Pentacles, he may be a husband. Thinking about this Queen of Swords, thinking that she may be uh, associating herself with another masculine energy, take it where it resonates, or another person messaging them, talking to them about being with them in a romantic relationship. What else? I feel like this this King of Pentacles is very mentally conflicted right now. Yeah, this is the Seven of Cups. There is a lot of confusion, a lot of illusions, something that's hidden. You see those things that are in the cups, those multiple items, okay? You have a snake, you have the moon, you have roses. This person's mind is all over the place. They're very conflicted, very imbalanced right now. They try to come from a balanced place as though they're enlightened or that may be their energy that they project in front of people. This person, this King of Pentacles, um, in the public eye, it looks like he has all of his all of his things together in life. Okay, you have the ten of wands, and it's in reverse. So there may be a betrayal that's been hidden by this Queen of Cups. This person is trying to come up out of their mind, losing hope about something that they can't put their finger on. They can't transform the situation with their person. There is still this this new opportunity, this inquisitive message that came through. They feel like their person is juggling them and they want to end their connection. Tell me more. What else, Holy Spirit? Oh, it's 
three. The chariot. Yeah, this person is delaying moving forward because they're stuck right now. They don't know which way to go. If they're coming or going, if things are going to progress with this relationship, I hope you guys can see this. Okay? You have the tower in reverse. They're trying to avoid a disaster. Avoid, you know, going into depression, anxiety, trying not to worry about the situation. But I feel like they have no reason to worry. I feel like their person is trying to give them no reason to worry, but their intuition is pinging. It's telling them that they have something in the background that they can't quite see. Something that is being hidden from them. Alright, so you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like this commitment, I feel like this King of Pentacles, take it where it resonates, you may be the masculine in the connection. Um, it's feeling like this commitment is over. All right, but I do feel like this person is their wish fulfillment, their significant other, their wife, their partner, their upper level commitment, okay? Yeah, they feel like they feel like there's no collaboration, like they don't want to be with them anymore. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Let's uh clarify. Clarify. Holy Spirit, tell me why these messages are here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Tell me about this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. This committed man. What's going on with him? This committed energy. This masculine. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So this person... The King of Pentacles, maybe you collective take it where it resonates. You're thinking about how committed you've been to this relationship. You're thinking about how you unconditionally love your person, how you have fell in love with them, want to give them all of your time and affection. But something in you is letting you know this relationship may be over. Okay, you have the Grim Reaper on the bottom of the deck. You feel like your uh, significant other, your partner, your wife possibly is entertaining another energy outside of this relationship tell me about the eight of swords what is this confusion yeah i can't make it up you got stabbed in the back if you guys have not found out that your person um may have an outside influence that's affecting the relationship you will be soon you are heartbroken uh, about this separation this deception this shocking attack for some of you guys you're just now finding out that your person is um entertaining someone on the outside there is a third party okay and now you're in your head about this relationship you're feeling like this relationship may not be worth the chase anymore tell me about the two of swords this decision these secrets that are hidden why is the why is the two of swords here holy spirit twin flames Spirit is saying that you guys may be twin flames. You may be going through lessons right now. You're the yin and yang. You guys balance each other out. There's duality in this relationship. All right. You complement each other very well, okay? However, you're making a decision about your twin flame collective. And I feel like this is a masculine energy, okay? Yeah, you don't want to cut off your significant other, but you feel like you're being blindsided by something. Tell me about justice. Yeah, you feel like something is not balancing up. Some, something is not adding up. You're just trying to be justified in the situation because you know how committed you are. What else? What else, Holy Spirit? Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Having fun. Yeah, you feel like your person is possibly out entertaining a friend. Not a friend that's the same sex and sometimes you do have friends that are the opposite sex but maybe your person is telling you collective that you have maybe your person is telling you collective that they have a friend on the outside that they're seeing and you may feel like your person is being single in the relationship or acting single in the relationship okay you feel like this is unjustified because you feel like that friend is not really a friend they're more than that let's see yeah, you feel like yeah, you feel like you're being blindsided, like somebody is love bombing you, not telling you the truth, possibly coming in late at night, telling you lies, gaslighting you to thinking that you know they're really committed to the relationship. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you took a risk on your person. You're taking a risk by believing them. 
Okay, you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I feel like your person is not really showing their hand to you. You know your person has options, collective. If you're the king of pentacles, yeah, you feel like something is going on behind your back. You've introspected this a long time, you guys. Like, Spirit don't make mistakes. Look, you got the three of cups. You have the hermit in reverse and the devil. Yeah, you know that there's some kind of toxic pull with your person going on on the outside with, with another individual okay you know that this person is is telling stories to you lying page of cups there's something very immature when it comes to their emotions there is a fish in the cup okay so there may be some type of false narrative okay and you have the six of pentacles right behind that okay so something is not being balanced out tell me about the chariot I think you're running against time, Collective. You know the time is almost up on this relationship, but you want to know the truth prior to making any decisions to move forward. That's the reason why the chariot is here as well. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other's time. Okay, so I feel like you want to be happy with your person. You feel like they're your paradise, your everything, but you know that you cannot be happy if this person is not telling you the truth. You can't move forward with your person. Okay, you know that y'all are creating a life together or have created a life together because I feel like this is a marriage or a commitment that has been established for many years. Okay, tell me more about this tower, Holy Spirit. I feel like somebody's trying to avoid a disaster. What else? Stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah, so you are trying to look out for what has been established in this connection, collective. You know that you guys have built a life together. You possibly have children with this person. Your finances are tied up with this person. Y'all may have businesses. You know, uh, y'all probably have generated uh, wealth together. And you're just trying to figure out what you need to do because you feel like somebody is imposing on your security in your relationship. All right, on the bottom of the deck, you have Phoenix in reverse, so something is not being transformed. You know, there has been a, a, a delay in this relationship. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles reverse. I saw it came out. Yeah, Girl with the Snake. All right, so yeah collective i feel like you know that you're being used or charmed in some kind of way i feel like you have your guard up as well because you know your person is being pulled into a third party situation and i don't feel like it's because somebody is trying to just literally pull them of course you're an adult you do what you want to do can't nobody make you do anything you don't want to do but i feel like you know that there's somebody on the outside trying to impose on your relationship you know that person is being blindsided by a snake okay your person is being blindsided by this snake okay yeah and you just don't want to be heartbroken that's the thing you know you love your person you don't want to be heartbroken you're coming up as the king of pentacles somebody that's very committed tell me about this um nine of cups holy spirit yeah you got the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bumming you guys i can't make it up you know that your person is your everything your wish fulfillment but you know that you are being blindsided in some type of way you know that this is unrequited love is something that's hidden but see, you want to be with somebody that loves you just as much as you love them. You want to be with somebody that's perfect for you, collective. You don't want to be with somebody that's unhealed, not transformed, still wants to explore things outside of the relationship. Somebody that only is thinking about themselves and um, the satisfaction of their own needs. Okay? So let's see what's going on. Let's, let's see what's hidden. Holy Spirit, tell me about this relationship. What's going on in this relationship that the King of Pentacles cannot see? What's going on in this relationship that the King of Pentacles cannot see? The collective cannot see. What's going on in this relationship that the King of Pentacles cannot see? Reconciliation in between the lines. So your person has reconciled with somebody else. Collective. And they have not made a decision about what they're doing in this relationship. Yeah, they're dating other people. They've reconciled with somebody on the outside. Maybe an individual that they've known for a while. 
Yeah, because you're you're a person that's committed, so you know that you have an establishment of a commitment with this person, you, and you feel like your soulmate is out there doing their thing, partying with other people, drinking with other people, you know, having dinner, dating. You know, what else is hidden, Holy Spirit, that the collective does not see? Killing. Date. Legal matter. Yeah. Your person is planning on coming in asking you for a divorce or ending of the relationship in this family. It's only going to happen in divine timing. It says divine timing, family, legal matters, date. Your person doesn't want to tell you that they want to be single collective. This person is eventually going to come in and tell you the truth, okay? Yeah. They're thinking about somebody else. They feel like, you know, this is not their divine relationship that they're supposed to be in. The person on the outside is the person that they really want to be with. But look, they're outside dealing with outside individuals that are really players. They're being um, deceived by this person on the outside. They're possibly drinking with them. They're possibly having influences in this connection that's affecting their decision making with you. What else is hidden? Yeah, your person fails to make a decision. They're also stuck as well. I feel like since they know that you are a super committed person, that you are just going to sit back and wait for them while they make the decision to sow their royal oats on the outside and think that you're just going to forever stay in the background pining for them and waiting for them to make a decision about your relationship. See, Spirit is saying that your person thinks that the grass is greener on the other side, okay? They think this hookup is going to satisfy them gratify them okay because they have a magnetic attraction with this outside individual they feel like they have unfinished business to them they feel like they're using their intuition and they want change in this relationship but spirit is saying they just don't know that they're going to get heartbroken by this new love they're going to get heartbroken and they don't know it they don't know it yet and then they're going to be wishing that they can come back to this relationship now the grass ain't always greener okay so let's see, let me get some more uh, energies and then I'm going to give you guys some advice and we're going to uh, end the reading. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what else does the collective need to know? This masculine energy, the collective. What do they need to know about this relationship? Tell me more. Divine Feminine in Reverse. Crickets, silence, none action. Spirit is saying that King of Pentacles, listen up, collective, committed person, stable person. Look, you need to know that this is not your divine feminine. There is no action. This person is not showing up as divine because they can't even make their decisions in a, um, a high vibe type of way. Okay, they're not even listening to their intuition right now. Their intuition is blocked. They're not taking any action toward this relationship. Spirit, Spirit is saying that it's being illuminated that this person is making a collaboration with a toxic individual. It's an unhealthy relationship, okay? And this may be happening in the present moment, okay? Tell me more. Yeah, they're hiding. They're hiding, collective. Look, Spirit is saying that you're going to find a receipt of an affair and in, in that moment, you're not going to be able to talk to that person. And you're not going to want to talk because you have been asking this individual who this friend is. And they refuse to tell you the truth about it. So eventually, when you find this receipt and you confront them about the situation, they're going to want to get on the same page. You're going to be so done with the relationship that there's no more talking to do. Because you're a committed person. You know what you bring to the table. Okay? You don't have time for shady business. All right? Yeah, because this person is unhappy, they're not ascending, and they're running. They're avoiding the situation. They're all over the place. This is not a divine partner, Spirit is saying. They're looking for that gratification on the outside collective. They're looking for happiness elsewhere when happiness is already at home. All right? If somebody's not valuing you, that's okay. It's okay. Because that means that divine rejection is God's protection. Period.
all right so it happens for a reason so that you can skedaddle along move forward with your life raise your vibration heal and whoever is supposed to be in your life you will attract them into your life the right people will find you and vice versa take it where it resonates okay let me go ahead and get some um let me get some advice for you guys and then we're going to go ahead and move forward in the reading what's the advice for the collective what do you need them to know, Holy Spirit, pertaining to this relationship? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Chemistry. Past life relationship. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. You have known each other before. You already have twin flames here. Okay? So you guys just may be a couple that have to go through a tower in order to learn from the situation. Okay? Spirit is saying that this was a past life issue. You have chemistry with this person, but this person was here to teach you a lesson. On the bottom of the deck, it says express how you love in reverse. This person is not showing that love to you, collective. And if they're showing you that type of energy, believe them. Okay? You can't make somebody love you. What else? Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Spirit is saying it's about to be broken up anyway because it was all a lesson. It was something you were supposed to go through in order for you to grow. So take it for what it is. You know, if that person cannot value you collective for your commitment to this relationship, King of Pentacles, for your stability, for the divine masculine that you are, that's okay because spirit sees your worth, all right? Spirit knows what you deserve. Spirit will be your justice in this situation. And he's going to justify this relationship. So I know it hurts right now that you may have to separate from your person. But just know that everything is going to be okay in the end. Because you're going to look back on the situation and be like, man, you know, Spirit brought me a long way. But if I hadn't have gone through that, I would never be where I am today. And possibly with your perfect and divine person. Okay? All right. Well, I won't say perfect. I would say perfectly imperfect person. That's just for you who's divine. All right. All right. I hope this message brought you guys a lot of clarity and advice. I will see you guys in the next reading. Don't forget to like, share if you would like, and also click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I make a post. I love you, and I'll see you in the next reading. All right. Bye.